couple of beach chairs right there would be kind of cute in this painting. Um, and I think I'm gonna paint the red, the stripes are red. I'm kind of thinking racy red right now. This is old school, people. This is how I used to do it when I was first learning how to paint. What I did was I placed some tracing paper over the top of this photo and I traced in pencil over this. And just before I started filming, I ripped this. So that's why there's blue tape here. It's really special. So now, because I can see through the tracing paper, I can kind of place it wherever I want to. A little bit of an angle. That looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. So now I'm going to use tape because I'm using this on the wall, but um, uh, some fingers would be fine. So hold this in place. And then this is carbon paper or graphite paper. Slide it in dark side towards your canvas. And you just need to slide it in to cover where you're going to do the tracing. I go got my two chairs on there I could have done this before we painted the background and then tried to paint around it but um, and that's what I recommend for paint parties because you're usually a little stressed for time unless you want to stand there with a hairdryer and just make sure this is really dry before you do this process to it um, it's up to you there's pluses and minuses both ways um, but this, I did this canvas a few days ago, so I know for sure that it's dry and this will make the cleanest transfer and the nicest background because I've obviously painted the background right through where these chairs are going to go. I already got my paints ready for the wood color. I'm going to use raw umber, yellow ochre, maybe a little bit of white. Um, and then I have red and white for the chairs. And I popped a bit of purple on there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use purple or the umber for shadows in the red to make the red a little bit darker. Um, so we'll see. I always like to get my brushes a little bit wet before I start painting. So mostly this yellow ochre color, I think is the way we're gonna go. So dull it down a little bit, make it a little more woodsy with the brown. All right, this be good. And I'm using a very small, couldn't tell you what size it is. Um, it says it's a size two flat brush, but I've noticed that with different brush manufacturers, their numbers of sizes of brushes change. So that's pretty similar to the beach colors, huh? thinking right now how I'm going to make it look different. Another beautiful thing about working on a wet or a dry canvas with wet paint is that I can use a brush with a little bit of water as a magic eraser. I put some wood color where there won't be wood, so I just got to erase it because the paint 
behind it was dry. Fabulous. Okay. I think what would help the chairs, help my chairs pop and come to life a little bit would be to add some raw umber, some deeper um, shadow colors. Now we're going to just start doing the red and white. I think I'm going to keep my little teeny tiny flat brush for that action also. Five stripes of color. I'd love to show you the rest of the video that showed me painting the red and white stripes on these chairs, but guess what? My uh, camera was full. Sorry to disappoint, but you can see the finished product. I signed it. Don't know what else to say. There'll be more paint videos.